If you've ever thought about moving to another country, these four simple rules will make your life so much easier. Whether as a teacher or a language student, you may find yourself moving long term to another country because of language. Now this is an ideal opportunity to immerse yourself in the culture, learn new things, meet new and interesting people, but there are pitfalls and this video is about how to avoid them. The things I mention here are to do with my own personal experience as living as an immigrant in Germany and they're based on pragmatism and realism. They're not based on idealism. And I would also like to point out explicitly, we're not talking about refugees here. They have enough problems and enough to deal with and they really need all the help they can get. Rule number one, integration. Don't form ghettos. They're bad for society and bad for you. Learn the language, immerse yourself in the culture, find out about the customs. You won't be able to make the environment bend to your preferences. You have to adapt to the new environment. And if you don't want to do this, I really have to ask the question, why did you move? There's somewhere that's exactly like your home country, namely your home country. You had to have moved for a reason. So you have to change to the environment. Just to give a really silly example, when I moved from England to Germany, I had to drive on the right hand side of the road. I didn't try and make everybody else drive on the left hand side of the road because that's what I was used to. I had to drive on the right hand side of the road. But that doesn't mean to say you have to abandon all sense of identity. Be proud of where you come from. And if people are interested to learn about your culture and your customs and traditions and your country, talk to them. They'll be willing to learn and it's a great way to make friends. I actually also find cooking is another good method of breaking down the barriers. People love to try different foods and if you can cook something they've never tried before, most people will be interested to try. And the last point I'd make for rule one is accept that different doesn't automatically mean right or wrong, better or worse. Different can just be different. Rule number two, financial independence. It's not a good idea to turn up at the border and put your hand out for welfare. Not all countries will have a welfare system and in this case you will probably be homeless and starve. For those that do have a welfare system, you still might not be eligible. And to turn up at the border and just put your hand out and say, well, I'm here now, so I'm gonna need uh, some accommodation, I need some furniture in it, I need appliances in it, you know, I need a fridge and a freezer and a TV, and uh, oh, I need a car as well, if I can have that as well, and I need some spending money. Okay, not a good idea. The better way is to find out the cost of living before you go and make sure you're suitably prepared. Now, if you're going to retire in another country, just make sure you have enough to live off. And if you're going to work, ideally have a job lined up before you go. Same with accommodation. Now your new employer might be able to help you with accommodation. And if you can't, there's certainly going to be a Facebook group for people in that town who have or are looking for accommodation. So use social media to your advantage. And even if at the end of the day you don't like the job you've sorted out, once you're in the country and established, you'll be able to get another job so much easier. Rule number three, slightly tricky one, religion and the law. You can't break the law and then claim religious intolerance when you're caught. Sorry to put it bluntly, your religion will not trump the law of the land and your invisible friend will not be able to help you. Now, if you're going to somewhere that's more restrictive than where you are, it's a good idea to know about this beforehand because you don't want to sort of on a hot day walk down the road with shorts on, no t-shirt and find you've been arrested for breaking their decency laws. And in the other way around, 
you don't want to go somewhere that's uh, from more restrictive to less restrictive and be absolutely shocked and horrified at the sheer amount of skin on public display. So it's your responsibility to make sure you are aware of the laws of the land and ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Now, this could be something that you didn't think about. It could be uh, in some countries it's illegal to be part of a Christian gathering. Other places have the death penalty for drug smugglers. There might be curfews in place. Uh, some countries, homosexuality is a jailable offence. The list goes on and on, and it's up to you to know. And speaking about sort of wildly differing um, religious uh, viewpoints, if you're going to somewhere that has a wildly different religious viewpoint, and it's going to make your life really difficult. That's possibly an idea to rethink your choice. Um, I'm looking forward to the day where questions like this aren't important, but I'm not holding my breath. Rule number four. If you leave your country to escape problems, leave the problems there. Don't bring them with you. Now, your neighbours have got their own problems. And uh, again, they're not gonna care about something they've never heard of in a country they've never been to. They've got their own shit to deal with. So, you know, leave the problems behind. Um, if you wanna put a positive spin on it, look forwards, don't look backwards. And if you're looking backwards, you're more likely to tread in dog shit. Oh, and the last thing I wouldn't do is spend lots of time whining to your neighbours about how much better it is at home and how shitty things are here. That will not make you any friends either. So those are my four brief rules about how to enjoy life in another country. I live them every day as an immigrant in Germany and uh, so far so good. Do you agree with these four rules? Or maybe is there something I missed out? If so, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate the feedback. That sums up this video on how to live in another country. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up and please subscribe for future updates. Bye for now.